yo how y'all doing we are back with the next episode of the pokemon platinum let's play and today we take on the story of city gym leader now we had to make a couple changes okay staryu was pointless on the team completely pointless there was no need for me to have staryu when i just caught the magnemite so i switched it up a little bit and you'll see a couple people have evolved because my pokemon were low and i mean i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken barry in its own is like 36 and 34 for his pokemon yeah at the time i only had spike at 31 or 32. so we had to train up and this grass to our right was the best place because there was a rotom and a bunch of other pokemon that were like super like 28 29 so it was a pain but with that little speed up mechanic that we got we were able to kind of blow through it i was able to watch some of the fortnite qualifiers all those great things so here is the new and approved team that is on us so everybody is up to 32 36 35 uh like i said it took me a while okay yellow squirrel had the experience share for most of it because it was the lowest level so we're gonna go ahead and take that away from it but here's the new levels thor at 36 spike only got a like two levels extra bucket two has about this 35 motha 32 grim is no longer Drifloom. it is now or uh it is now uh what is what is your name Drifloom? uh what is you know what it has evolved <laughs> forget it i can't think of his name magnemite has evolved into magneton so star is in the box this is our new team hopefully this team can carry us to victory in this next part so without further ado uh, let's go and battle our rival and then take on crash awake hopefully we will survive all right keith let's do this whoops hee -he, i'm not always going to plow into you every time so how's it going tj buffing up your pokemon eh I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. So yeah, I will say this. I forgot Platinum is probably the most um, unforgiving game if you don't level up your Pokemon. Um, if you don't do anything, it's very unforgiving. And why do you have a Raikou, by the way? That should not be there. Okay. Um, Was not expecting that. Can we hold it down, though? That was a crit? Psh and we miss okay um we're fine right just don't miss and you missed again okay i um don't miss don't miss ah yes perfect oh no not perfect okay that's not doing as much damage as i was hoping it would do of course because it's not it's not a it's not a rock ground type okay um also why does rock blast use like a i i definitely did not miss like six times already did i Ooh, mothra's out here um we need to get you back out uh who do we go into because it's definitely going to try to use electric move here watch 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 this prediction right here watch it watch it bam look at that amazing what pressure that is why okay i'm like what is happening i forgot pressure yeah okay now it all makes sense on why exactly it's using so much i'm sitting there thinking i was like yo we should have at least like a whole lot more of uh of rock blast but no that kind of makes sense all right first first pokemon is out the way we're good here um so yeah i'm not gonna try to over level too much i don't want to be up too high of a level that's not where we're trying to be at we're just trying to be like very close to that you know that very minuscule mo moment of being too high so we don't want that to happen so we're not gonna do that we should be good pretty good here though this is who i was originally worried about because i don't have a pokemon that could have handled this if we still had our good old venusaur and 
all those other Pokemon that we used to have, that would have been no issue. But unfortunately, that was a huge issue. So I, I kind of figured Azumaro would give us an issue because we have a lot of water uh, ground type Pokemon that are weak to water. And luckily for us, we had just caught the Magnemite, so we didn't have to worry about anything. All right, I say that and Magnemite is, or Magneton, it just took a lot of damage. Isn't there a way to evolve Magneton here? Where would I evolve Magneton into Magnezone? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Where is that? There's a, there's a place for that to happen at, but I don't remember where. Is it in Conclave? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that up because I really want a Magnezone. The Magnezone would be perfect. All right, there we go. Ekans? You have an Ekans. Hmm. Why do I feel like this is about to get easy mode for us? I feel like this is about to be super easy for us now. Hmm. Go ahead, switch. Shh. Worthless Pokemon. I actually kind of want to go back and look and see exactly what he used to have on his team. Because I don't think he ever had an Ekans on his team when we battled him before. He had, I feel like he had other Pokemon. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, he definitely had other Pokemon. Hmm. All right, let's do this. I think Thor should be fine here. As long as he does not know Brick Break. If he knows Brick Break, we're screwed. Please don't know Brick Break. It knows like screen. Okay. I will take that. Don't know Brick Break though. One. Come on. Come on. Ain't no Swift. Okay. Uh, we're fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a new thing behind me. This thing. Yeah. That's uh though it's like a Kingdom Hearts scroll. Um Keith, not and not from the game, but my uh friend Keith actually gave it to me. So I was like, I'm putting this up. Because unfortunately I don't have you know. Uh yeah. Make sure I put that one up real quick. So perfect. Ah, yes. We made it past Barry. Or Keith. Oh, I keep doing that. Keith is our rival, not Barry. <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher since the last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. I got my own theme song. That's odd. All right, I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna heal up and I'll be right back. All right, now we're back. We've healed up. We're all good now. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this gym battle. Let's see what's up with Crash and Wake. I hate this gym. I remember this one. It's that dumb one with the puzzles and um the button pushing i think it's this one and then how is it it's one of these ones up here and because i think the green one is the one that raises and then the yellow ones are the ones that take it down so i think we actually have to fight a couple of these people which shouldn't be too bad. I feel like fighting them shouldn't be horrible. Oh, yeah, I think. And this is the only issue that I didn't want to do when I leveled up. I didn't want to get too high of a level because I didn't want all my Pokemon to start being like almost one shotting or two shotting all these other ones. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully Crash Awake is definitely a higher level than this. So we shall see. Yeah, because I think I go across this way. I'm trying to think. A Reggie Gigas? Um Okay. Uh what is Reggie Gigas a week two? I don't remember. What are you? Are you a psychic? I feel like you're a psychic rock. Spike, get in here and take care of this. Oh god. Are you no, he's not that. What are you? I'm gonna have to look this up. What is Reggie Gigas uh, type? Oh, I am so glad we didn't. Uh... 
course. Of course you seem to have a Gyarados just sitting around. Uh, Thundershock can knock you out. War Turtle. Okay. Mm, so bad for the War Turtle. Granted, Blastoise is a pretty good Pokemon. Um, and then... Hmm. Centret. Eh, we can actually send out anybody. It's just a Centret. Oh, yeah. Ancient Power. I forgot that you learned Ancient Power. There we go. Okay. And then hit this button. And then we go hit one of these buttons. No, wait. This button? Uh. Oh, yeah. The blue one. And then... We're good. Okay. Yeah, I never liked this place because I mean, it's just like you got to figure out which ones raise up the raise up uh, all the freaking water. It, it was more annoying. I should not touch this because I think it's going. Oh, wow. It didn't uh, paralyze us. Okay. Oh, of course. The work can only learn. What are you learning? Horn drill? Ooh. That is a one hit KO, but I'm pretty sure one hit KOs are forbidden actually in a uh, nuzlocke so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that or at least i could be wrong but i i feel like they are though wait you body slammed me and okay i was like zang i was like oh no okay we're fine we're good here i used the wrong move i need to figure i need to get rid of uh, mud sport it's not really needed on the team so yeah i need to definitely get rid of that all right and now we are all set to take on rash awake but you know we always got to take the picture next to him and let's heal up a little bit yeah we don't really have a lot but we should probably heal up so let's go ahead let's do that Get everybody all healed nice and neatly. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of like medicine stuff. So, I mean, we have like the basics. So luckily we had a couple paralyzed heals that we found on the ground. And essentially this is literally all we have. All right, crash for awake. Let's go ahead. Let's, you know, stretch it out a little bit. All right, let's do this. Welcome. I didn't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the story of gym leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Hmm. 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 Let's see how bad this goes. Let's do this. All right, Leader Wake. Munchlax, okay. I, okay. If that's the worst that we have to run into, I'll be down. So Munchlax, man, ah, uh, shoot. What could take care of Munchlax? I don't know if we have anything that can necessarily take care of that. Um, uh, well, maybe we'll be fine. Yeah, never mind. We're good. We're good here. Yeah, especially if we keep hitting him with these rock blasts. Hit him one more time. Um, nah, stockpile is fine. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah, it's a little too late for all that, buddy. It used a hyper potion. Of course, I should have known that was going to happen. The one time that I don't worry about a hyper potion being used. All right, back to the rock blast. Let's hope we, we can hit five times. One, let me, let me get another one. Let me get. All right, maybe not another one again. Let's try it again. And we missed. Okay. I was worried about that because now it's going to heal itself, isn't it? Okay, it didn't actually heal up as much as I thought it would. Maybe we can get it to flinch a couple times before doing anything. Yep, there's let me get another flinch. I need this thing to like hit. I need rock blast to hit. All right, here we go. Let me get let me get let me get the six again let me oh and then of course it heals all right 
we have to do something else here. Um, actually, no, no, no. We can keep rock blasting it as long as we keep getting like multiple hits. Oh, and a crit. That's what I'm talking about. Ha. Ah. First one. Down and out. Parasect is next. Okay. Um. I feel like Mothra can handle Parasect. Right? Yeah, Mothra should be able to handle the Parasect. Because all we need to do is just hit it with a side beam. Oh, we have Gust. Duh. I should have just used Gust. That's not good. Yeah, that's just... All right, Gus should take care of this. Easy, no problem, right? Right? Ah, yes. Keep it up. No, no. It really has a citrus berry? Come on now. Oh, I was about to say, don't knock us out. Can we do it? No, come on. Ooh. Are we about to lose Mothra? Please tell me we're not about to lose Mothra. I go first, right? They use a high potion, of course. Of course you do. All right, we're gonna have to heal up ourselves. Um, no, two potion. There we go. Okay. Ah. Uh, there we go. And I think we should be good. I think we're good. Did I just kill Mothra? I think I just killed Mothra. I think I just killed it. Because, yep, I just killed it. Yep. After looking at it, I was like, wait, that did way more than I thought. Yeah, I, was, I, was in, I was liking Mothra, too. I've never used a bit of Mothra in any of my plays. Like, I have never done that. I forgot I could have just turned into you. Drift Bloom, Blim. Drift Bloom? Drift, I don't know. What is, what is Drift Bloom's freaking evolution name? Somebody help me out here. You know what? We're going to look this up. Uh, Drift. Drift Bloom evolution. Drift Bloom. Why does that sound bad and not sound correct at all? Like that does not sound correct. Well, well, I guess maybe it is. I don't know. All right. We can... We don't go first. All right. So we're not going first. We don't attack first. We definitely cannot take another one of those. Um. So we're actually going to have to switch out. I didn't want to switch out, but we might have to. Who could handle the rest? Plucka 2 or Yellow Squirrel? I feel like Plucka 2 can actually handle the rest. Maybe we should have called a Plucka Beta. Because we already had Plucka, the very first Plucka. Yeah. I, I, I feel like we could have probably named it like Plucka 2 or Plucka Beta or something like that. The first Plucka was very, it was a nice one. All right. Whew. And I think that's it, right? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. How will I say this? I want more. <laughs> you lost. It seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. And we have gotten the Finn badge. Uh, you need the Finn Bash to use the hit and move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Nice, nice. TJ put Team 55 away. Brian. Yeah, I like Brian. It inflicts double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it to end battles decisively. That is true. That is very true. I think I can just do this. And then... Yeah, it should be just like, uh, at least I think this is right. No, that's not right. Wait, it is right. Oh, wait, I could have just ran on the outside. I'm an idiot. All right. So, yep. 
I could have just ran on the outside. How dumb am I? Yep. And uh, I have to do this. Ah. Uh. There we go. Now I'm out. All right, let's go heal up. And actually, no, I think Team Galactic is gonna show up eventually. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, you got the gym badge here, huh? What'd I tell you, Mr. Wake? I mean, the master is pretty awesome, hey? And then he comes up. What's that racket? Oh, it's you two. Oh, master. Listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that, but I don't recall ever taking you in as an apprentice, not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided, but forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He says something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pistoria. Not on my watch. Yeah, he uses a bomb. And essentially, I don't know what the whole thing about that was for. But, I mean, I guess... Let's go take care of Team Galactic and then we'll end the episode right after we finish that one. So, um, oh yeah, now we gotta get rid of Venom, uh, Meryl, Mothra. You were a good Pokemon while it lasted, but unfortunately I miscalculated and did not think that you would actually get knocked out by something so easy and so simple. It seems I was incorrect. So first, let's get rid of, let's add Ryu back to the team. And Mothra, it was good playing with you. I'm glad you can join us. But unfortunately, you are now served your purpose and your time. And let's move on. All right. Build up. Let's go see what's going on with Team Galactic over here. And you're in my spot, guy. Okay. Hey, what am I? Chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here too. So where's this Galact? Yeah, he doesn't even get to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs out. That was rough. You, what have you done? What have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived, see? That was a bomb. Name the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push a button, so I did. Like, poink. Oh, that's right. I must forget the test results need reporting. Cheerio. You draft... You daft codger. Is, is that like a term of, like, what in the world? Yep. Hey TJ, I'm gonna stay. I'm staying there like my said. Don't let that galactic guy get away. I mean, all we're doing is just kind of chasing him down. So let's let's see. Yep. So essentially, he's just telling us. He's essentially telling us his plan of where he's going. He, he's essentially just going to the lake front. He needs the energy from the valley wind work. See, and then he's just gonna sit there and explain like why they needed everything. Like we're not talking to him or near him, which is. I always thought it was just like the oddest thing. Oh, Rotom. See, told you. Rotom was in here. And that's literally all we were fighting. I, I think I probably ran into him like 20 times in a row. And luckily it was giving us enough XP to where it was just like leveling up a bunch of our Pokemon very easily. Oh God, Looker. Looker had to show up. Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I've come. You say the cargo? It was a bomb? And there was an explosion? That explosion was at the Great Marsh? Furthermore, you're pursuing a man? A man with funny bowl cut hair? An outfit that is very strange. Okay, this is very odd. Yeah, I hate you, Looker. You're very annoying as far as a character goes. Like, you're, you're really annoying. And I'm pretty sure he's just sitting here and he says he's gonna talk to that guy, which is very dumb. Like, I, I don't get it. Why am I running like this anyway? That new world, yes. And he's just gonna, they're just continually just, just odd about it. Yep, and then he'll be right here. And finally, we get to battle him after running away for I don't know how long. But yeah, this, is, this isn't really like an important battle. It's, it's just him like saying like, oh, I'm gonna run away from you and you're not going to be able to do anything. Of course, you you swallow after that, you bastard. Nope. Oh, yeah. Spit up. I forgot spit up is what does that. Yeah. And he just runs into the little marsh or this this place. And I'm pretty sure Cynthia shows up right afterwards. Yeah. 
Like, she just walks by him without stopping him. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I can't research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They said there's an island inside the lake, and inside that island is a mirage of Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. The key, key. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing here? Huh? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't? Okay. The explosion in the Great Marsh wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. Yeah, nothing happens. Then he just dips out. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yes. Yes, we have. Oh, wait. Route 210, the Psyduck. We have not seen it, but I know exactly where this is. Um... Yeah, so if you go, so I'll end up showing y'all next episode, essentially, where we'll be at. But it's essentially there's some duck up, side ducks up there, and we're going to have to get past them, so. Um, but yeah, with that, that is it for this episode. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, all those great things. And I will see you on the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke Run. Until then, I'm peace out, y'all.